Sports fans, this is not one of my typical highlight videos. I take you back to 1991 to show you a few highlights. Our president at the time was George Herbert Walker Bush, certainly the lesser of two evils. We had won the Gulf War and liberated Kuwait and found alien signs. Famous movies of the time. Terminator 2, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, which I was forced to see, and Naked Gun 2 and a half. Rest easy, Leslie Nielsen. And of course, December 15th, 1991, the Lions beat the Packers 21-17 in Green Bay. Eric Kramer was 14 for 29, threw for 131 yards and two touchdowns. Barry Sanders had 27 rushes and 85 yards. Who would have realized at the time that it would take another 24 years for the Detroit Lions to win in Green Bay? So much has happened since then. 1991, I was a senior in high school, and since then, I graduated from high school, graduated from college, graduated from grad school, got married, bought a house, got divorced, moved to Kentucky, moved back to Michigan. So much has happened since then. But today, the streak is snapped. Ladies and gentlemen, sports fans, today, this, on November 15th, 2015, the Lions marched into, well, kind of hobbled into team with one win at this point in the season can't really march, can they? But they hobbled into Lambeau Field and came away with a very well-earned 18-16 victory. Of course, it would have been 20-16, but the Lions, being who they were, still managed to miss two extra points. They also let Green Bay score the touchdown at the end of the game to make it 18 to 16 to the defense's credit they kept Green Bay from converting on the two-point conversion however they didn't keep Green Bay from recovering the onside kick and completing a short pass to give their kicker Mason Crosby a chance to hit a three-point game-winning field goal but he flubbed the kick and the Lions came away with the victory. This was an amazing day for the Detroit Lions fans. Now, it doesn't really do anything for the Lions because that doubled their number of wins to two. But significantly, what it did do was knock Green Bay out of first place in the NFC North and move Minnesota into first place behind their 30-14 victory over the Oakland Raiders today. Can't wait to see what that game's going to look like when Minnesota plays Green Bay next week. This video was not made to talk about all the sports news that happened over the weekend. I'll do a longer video tomorrow and talk about the NCAA football, and you better believe that I'm going to talk about Michigan because... This is my channel, and I can do what I want. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I was out there saying, as a good Lions fan, congratulations. They still kind of suck, but I do root for them. And it was a great day. See you later. Thanks. Hey, I also forgot to say, today is November 15th, the opening day of rifle season in home state of Michigan, and I can't make it this year at all, but my father's up north, and I just wanted to say, good luck, Dad, bring me home some venison, and stay safe.